Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to a new series I'm going to be doing on my channel. Hoping to do it regularly because guess what, we are playing GeoGuessr and I absolutely love this game. Now I have named this series Pro Plays. Because, I don't know, maybe I consider myself pretty alright at the game, hoping to be able to show you guys some tips and tricks at, I don't know, playing this game, maybe, uh, maybe you know, some advanced users only technique. So, um, we're going to figure out right now, right off the bat, if I'm going to be any good, uh, you guys are going to be able to play along with me, which is the funnest part. But right off the bat, we just loaded right into this, this is not what we're playing, is that an Australian flag, the Red Earth, uh, we're going to go right over here, and oh, that's close enough. Anyways, we got Australia right, so what a way of starting this. Anyways, we're going to go and set up a game, always going to do it the same way, because I feel that that way is really the funnest way, that's um, setting up a game where you have a three minute time time limit for, um, for for every one of the locations. Uh, that way, it does make you do a little bit of a guess. Now, uh, it, it gave me this weird uh, bit.ly link right here. So, uh, okay, bit.ly, let's just uh, take a good look at it. Um, that's what it's going to be. So, we're going to remember that. Uh, you can type that now into your browser, or if I remember it correctly, you guys can uh, go right down in the um, video description and uh, click on that link there, and it's going going to bring you to this game. You're just going to go and uh, do that and uh, then I don't know, pause the video and then come back and see how I did. It's only going to take me about 12 minutes. It should only take you about uh, 12, sorry, 15 at the most. So welcome back. Now that you've come back after um, having done that and chances are you, you didn't leave. Uh, we are going to go play this one ourselves. We've got three minutes on the clock here, and I can see we're on an interesting bridge. These license plates, they don't automatically tell me um, that we are in uh, in Europe. And looking around, I'm starting to, to think that uh, we may uh, not be. In fact, this is, uh, this is something that uh, sort of reminds me of uh, Brazil uh, very much. So that's uh, that's currently what I have uh, in my head right now. I'm thinking I'm thinking Brazil, although it's kind of hard to see uh, exactly where we are. Often you do find yourself in uh, you do find yourself in Brazil. Maybe trying to seek out a website when you do see websites. That is when you know. Now, right here, if you look correctly, you can kind of see. Um, well, you can't really see because this is a sort of flickering box. But right above where my finger is, if you guys are watching in 1080p, you guys can see. You can kind of make out that the uh, the address is .br so sort of certain right now that I am somewhere in Brazil although um, that was quite uh, you know obvious by by looking at uh, the names of the places you do see Brazil a lot and they do have license plates like uh, like this although I don't really know is, is that like a Renault that seems a bit strange for Brazil I, I don't actually know what kind of cars they drive in Brazil and let's see if we can find a city name we've got one minute 40 on the clock um, now, uh, MA, that could, uh, that could tell me, uh, like, a, like a region, so I'm gonna go, no, I don't wanna do that, I wanna, I wanna zoom in, excuse me, can I not zoom in? Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to do that. Alright, MA, that means we're in this region over here, and, um, that's great, we found that. Now, what I wanna do is, for some reason, I can't use my scroll wheel on this, which is going to be very annoying. Uh, we are looking for, um, this place which is uh, obviously, or, or by the looks of it, the name of the location we want to go to. Um, well, can I find it? That's the real question. Let's go near the uh, mouth of uh, the Amazon, and uh, we actually have found it. So we're going to go all the way down. It's actually right over here. This is going to be for mad points, fellas. We've only got 51 seconds left on the clock, so the odds of me uh, getting this right are going to be quite short. Now... Uh, by the looks of it, where did we come from? We came from a bridge that crossed over water, which is going to be this one. Let's return to start location. We were over, we were right on the water, so I'm going to place myself right on the bridge, right here, right in the middle, and then mad points, boom shakalaka! There you go, 6,000. 479 points there it is without cheating scroll wheel still not working which is super annoying but we're gonna get uh, used to that okay right here looking around I uh, sort of uh, first thing that comes to mind is Russia uh, yellow license plates uh, helping 
to indicate that, although that isn't isn't something that is uh, that is a sure spot. Just panning around the corners here, we can see some sort of uh, old world looking apartment blocks. And can I really not use my mouse wheel? Um, that's that's absolutely infuriating. Uh, let's see if we can move down the street and see a dot ru domain name because if we can that's what really helps but right now just looking at the lettering looking at uh, I'm gonna call it Cyrillic but you know I'm such a I'm such an uncultured swine I may um, be misinterpreting that now this should have a website um, okay now that to me, right under that 800 number, or that, that 8, uh, then whatever, that does look like a .ru, although it's very blurry from this angle, and I can't really uh, zoom into it, so I can't really tell, but it does look like it. There is an 8, which may be a country code, um, which, if it's true, uh, fantastic. Now, the really annoying part about Russia is that, first of all, Russia's giant, so that is never a uh, very good help. And uh, it's so varied. The geography is just so varied everywhere. We could literally be anywhere. I'm seeing Toyota Priuses drive down the road. That feels, uh, uh, I don't know what that feels to me. I'm just, I'm just trying to think, where in Russia could we be? Now, the secret about Russia is that you're always going to be near a city. Um, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be on a road. You're gonna be on a city. So uh, what I like to do is I like to go um, to Moscow, and then we're gonna go a little bit over um, over like Kazakhstan. We're gonna go somewhere like over here, but somewhere smaller. So I'm thinking I'm thinking maybe uh, this one over here, Nizhny. Uh, I'm going to go click on that, but I'm going to just go pan around you know, to see if we can ever see something. Although, honestly, the thing about it is that you can see all these names. They're written in English lettering. Um, like, they're, they're, Rome, they're the Romanized names. But when you're going to see a sign or anything over here, it's not going to be Romanized. It's going to be in it's gonna be in Cyrillic. So, of course, it's going to be a big problem. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Trying to figure out exactly where you are. Uh, because the names on the streets, if ever, you, if, ever, if ever you could even find the name of the place, I don't know if I'd be able to identify it. That's why Russia gives me a lot of trouble. But at least we were able to identify that that's where we were, at least with uh, somewhat certainty. I mean, look at this guy right over here. Oh my goodness. He, I mean, look at this guy. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna relax, stay right on here. This may be the name of a city, but again, I don't know what, I don't know how to Romanize that. So we're just gonna click make the guess. And, um, we were actually on the other side of uh, we were on the other side of Kazakhstan, but thankfully I did go um, I did go east enough. I, I could have gone even less east. Tried to make it closer to Moscow, I guess. Although I didn't feel like we were that close to Ukraine, I felt like we may have been a little bit more that way. But I mean, w like where where in the heck is this? Uh, let's go let's go find out. If I go and zoom in, all right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to click like this. We were um, in this area right over here. Uh, I don't think I could have ever gone down the road. Maybe I could have found could have found a sign that said the road name. But 2,000 points, you know, isn't bad. Our score total is gonna be quite good. Okay, well, we are in either the United States or Canada right now. This uh, does look like a North American roadway. Um, you can tell mostly because uh, the lines on the road look appropriate enough, although it is a white line in the middle, um, which is fine. Very flat land. Let's see if we can get to the other side of the highway, because I really would like to see that. All right, we're in America. You can tell because it says sublet road Malta, and it says one mile. So you know you're in America because the, uh, the names are in mile. So we're on Highway 245, which is sort of a regional thing. But as you can see right here, there are snowy mountains. Snowy mountains and sort of fields of, of grain. So that could mean a, a few things. This could, I mean, this could mean Colorado. Let's go, let's go try and zoom into Colorado. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this the, the crappy way because for some reason my scroll wheel doesn't seem to want to work. No, I don't want to do that. All right. So we're going to go to Colorado because, I mean, that's the kind of thing I like to imagine when I feel that. I'll, I don't think we're going to be in Alaska. I mean, no, I, we're not going to be in Alaska. That's for sure. Um, I could, I mean, Montana could be it. Idaho could be, uh, again, correct. I mean, maybe Idaho isn't that bad of a choice. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna veer more towards the Idaho area. This doesn't really feel like uh, something we would see there. Idaho, maybe, I mean, how mountainous is this area? Boise, is this, is this something that happens? Can we, can we zoom in a little bit more and see uh, perhaps uh, 
Perhaps we can find some of these highways. No, we're never going to find it. That's the that's the annoying part. Malta. We are looking for Malta. Maybe Malta is going to be um Malta may be something that's going to help us a lot. Butte, um, Misuna, none of these really stand out in my mind. Uh, Spokane, um, oh my goodness. I guess I, I don't really think I'm going to be able to find it in the time limit. But that's the fun about this. It's, it's trying to guess where you are based on your surroundings. Oh, hold on. That's a very important sign we just passed back there. I'm going to try and see it. No, it's not an important sign. Again, just telling us we're in the United States. Uh, I think I'm going to go for like, uh, we got to be near, uh, we got to be near uh, Canada, I think, and I don't think we're in Colorado taking a look at this, although you never know, I, I honestly don't have a clue, if I go down this road maybe I'll see something that I want to see and that'll sort of indicate to me where we are, sublet Malta, no, that's not really what I want, exit, that's only exit 245, exit 245, so no, alright, I'm going to... Oh my god, I need to actually make a guess here. Uh, we're going to actually uh, select that guess, and uh, you know what? That was actually quite good. Were we in the correct state? I did correctly say Idaho. Um, fantastic. Idaho was a good guess. We were just a little bit uh, down below here. How far would I have to zoom in to see Malta or the correct highway name? We were on Highway 84, and I don't see Malta even if I zoom in quite uh, quite deep here. So I am happy with my choice. I think uh, I think we did we did pretty good there, guys. 2,700, 233 kilometers away. Correct state on just a guess seems like quite a good one there. Ooh. Oh, no. One of these, right? Okay. Well, these ones are interesting. Uh, we're stuck in a picture here. Ain't no moving out from this area. We're stuck in a picture. Um, we have a very sad looking place. Lots of uh, gray uh, buildings. People walking to work in snowy parkas. This looks like something quite cold to me. I would say, I mean, I hate to, I hate to just make assumptions here, but we're going to be guessing Ukraine. Uh, and and to all of my Ukrainian um, viewers, um, tell me how much of an asshole I am for for automatically jumping to such conclusions. Although look at these beautiful trees, they're quite nice. Hey, maybe it's gonna be. I mean, I guess what? Maybe it's gonna be in Canada. Maybe this is very close to where I live. And I'm not saying this is like a, a crappy place, but I mean, this picture wasn't taken in the nicest of areas. There are places like this anywhere in the world. We're stuck in a picture, so we can't actually move out of it, which is quite aggravating. I really wish we could move out so we could see a little bit more. Uh, we could be anywhere in the world. That's the secret about these things. We could literally be anywhere. We're either we're either in the Ukraine, my guess, or we're on like we're we're, we're on like this side of like Siberia. Uh Russia, sorry. Siberia would be like up here and like up here. We're, we're either there or there. I'm going to guess Ukraine. Um we're going to go with um somewhere somewhere like uh somewhere uh, nice like uh, Pr Pr Priliok. I mean I, what if, what do I have to go on I just have to look at buildings they're very gray similar looking that's why sort of a uh, feel of like uh, big gray complexes of big apartment blocks sort of has that that communist feel to me so I feel like maybe we're gonna be in you know so, sort of a, the, the former USSR uh, these things over here, people wearing cold, it was very cold, but they, but then again, you have to tell, like, it's the time of year that it is, um, so that's just gonna be my guess, my guess is gonna be right over here, we're gonna make the guess, and would you look at that, had the right country, we were indeed in the Ukraine, and, you know, sorry for jumping to such conclusions, but, uh, you know, sometimes it just pans out that I'm, I'm right, uh, this is a pro-level geo-guesser right here, side of the road, we are in... We're in North America yet again. We just want to find out where we are specifically. These guys over here, it looks like we're in Florida um, based on this little truck here. As you can see, you got you to gotta, like catch your eye on logos like this. That to me looks like Florida, although again, I could be wrong. But um, that right there on that truck looks like an outline of Florida. That's the kind of thing you got to keep your eyes out. Now let's go make sure we're in America. Let's not uh, take too long looking at that truck. We could be anywhere. We got to make sure we are actually in America, not Canada. The lines on the road are, are definitely. Oh my God! Can I? All right, I'm gonna have to go forward the old-fashioned way, like Mon Pa used to do it. 
One of the things you got to watch out for is just look at the lines on the road. Oftentimes you can tell just based on that that you're in North America. And that was the first feeling that I got. Also, made sure that the cars were facing the correct way. Just in case, uh, you know, that's our Australia, South Africa uh, check to make sure that we're not in any one of those two places. We do have a one-way sign. It says one way in it. That's something you don't see uh, in this area of Canada. And uh, based on that truck right over there, we are in, in the correct place. I don't really see an ocean nearby, so I'm going to guess probably uh, sort of north central, sort of maybe near Georgia would be a good idea. Lots of logging. Maybe we're uh, near the Alabama area. That could be uh, a possibility if we are, in fact, in Florida. Again, I only have to go on the Florida guess based on uh, that little thing and based on uh, that very, very quick um, can I, okay, I can't really do anything more, we got 13,900 points, so, I mean, if I get Florida, this is gonna be a very good round, for, I mean, the first recording I'm doing of this, and, and, and it gets, we get some good luck, so, I mean, I honestly hope that you guys have, um, picked up a little bit of knowledge here, I, I really love this game very much, if you guys watched that one Starbound episode, I named it my number two favorite game of the year, uh, because I didn't do a game, of, a traditional game of the year list, I did a weird one, and um, I'm not going to spoil anything else on the list because you may see that coming back on uh, a special I'm going to do for when we hit one year of This Can't Be Reels, um, so 52 weeks essentially, which we're not at yet. I can't see crap on the highway, and for some reason, double-clicking isn't bringing me anywhere. This highway is the most similar, similar thing I've ever seen in my life. No signs, no speed, no nothing. All I got to go on is that little tiny logo I think may have been Florida on that. So, I mean, I could be catastrophically wrong, fairly certain we're in North America. All right, we're going to just go on Florida over here. We're going to try zooming in. We're not near Jacksonville. We're um, uh, we're on our way. Are we on our way to Tallahassee? Sure, we're on our way to Tallahassee on uh, not Highway 10, but on this one near Madison. Great, making the guess. And oh la la, we were quite close. Would you look at that? We were in uh, that. We were essentially like right in the damn area right there. So boom shakalaka, guys. Um, I hate to say it, but that was a really good round of GeoGuessr. I mean, well, you click on this button and we're going to see, like, exact, really close, really close, really close. For Russia, honestly, this is this is quite good. So, there you have it. 17,623. I'm going to say, hope you guys can try and beat that without using Google. I mean, I got very lucky on the Brazil guess. That's, you know, I, I've actually found out where we were, which I, I, I guess that was lucky. The Ukraine one that was that was a good guess. This one, uh, the Idaho was a was a good guess. This one was a guess. It wasn't so great, but there you go. Uh, this one, I, I feel like I feel kind of cheaty about it because I kind of saw the Florida logo on the uh, on the truck there. But uh, there you go. That's how you play GeoGuessr, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more um, GeoGuessr content coming up tomorrow. My God, 70,623. That's a very good score. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you guys. Next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Aw, oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.